everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hello, Marvin. Good evening. How are you doing today? Are you ready for your English class? Are you ready for your English class? Okay. Uh, can you tell me what information you remember about the previous class? ¿Qué información se acuerda de la clase anterior? La de lección 4.3. 4.3, los colores, right? Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. So today we're going to get started Quiero on... Ver. Yeah, that's right. Colors and conversations, it's a disaster. So sí, today sí. we're going to get started on section 4.4, 4.4. Uh, we're going to yes. be looking at the possessive, his, my, your. In this class, you will oh. learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. En esta clase aprenderán cómo usar yes. los posesivos para describir las pertenencias de las causas. Mm -hmm. Listen, please. Sí. Teacher, one question. Yes. Tengo, tengo una consulta. Dígame. Y le digo, pero... Fue en la... Um... En la lección de la 3, tengo un problema en la C. En, en el midterm. Ajá. Quiero ver. Quiero ver si lo logro ver acá, ya le digo. Me recuerdo que al finalizar la lección 3, estaba A, B, C, uh -huh. D, E, el, 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 el midterm. Ajá. Entonces, el examen... en la C, exacto. Exacto. Uh -huh. Ok, ahorita vamos a ver si puedo abrir esa sección rapidito, dame chance. Yo igual, ahorita lo estoy abriendo. Tuve un, allí, y un problemita que no, al final no, no supe cuál era la respuesta. Tal vez usted me ayude. Ah, aquí está, ve, esta es la C. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Permítame, ay, la C. Ajá, complete. Complete your conversation. Mm -hmm. Ahorita, Patricia. Uh -huh. Creo que hay varios conectados. <risa> ¿Puedes ver mi pantalla? Si quieres, toma la sí, foto ahorita, para que continuemos. ¿Puedes ver mi pantalla? Sí, ahorita lo estoy viendo. Si quieres, anota ahí para poder continuar. Ah, ok. Uh, utilicé ese donde dice over there my name is Nicole Parker uh -huh. utilicé or she's, or she's 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 over there pero ajá uh -huh. she's over there over there Uh -huh. Pero lo utilicé de esa forma y me daba la respuesta incorrecta. Eh, chequé, tal vez está escribiendo el tilde en vez del apóstrofe. Eso Voy suele pasar. Ajá, Ajá, porque bastantes Entonces, personas si ponen tilde en vez del apóstrofe le sale mal. O Tienen tendrá que, que ver el que vaya may mayúscula y minúscula. También eso puede ser. Ok. Entonces lo intentaré. Gracias, Ticho. 
Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, you're welcome. We're going to go ahead and continue. Uh, we were working from section number four. One second, there it is. One second, we were looking at describing possessive, there we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, 
Let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out and as you can see the object is at the beginning not at the end as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex's t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black the black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white his computer is white. All right. So now what you're going to do for this activity, guys, is you're going to go ahead and take a look at the first section, which is this section over here. here at the bottom where it says discussion forum and I would like for everybody to give me 10 examples. Did everybody do this activity already? Eh, ¿Ya hicieron esta actividad acá todos? Yes. Mm, yes, teacher. Okay. No. No. Okay, los que no lo han hecho les queda de tarea porque eso lo tenían que haber hecho el jueves pasado. Les quedó de tarea el jueves. Este fue repaso. So right now, we're going to work on the knowledge check, section 4.6. Instructions, complete the conversations with the correct word. Instrucciones, complete las conversaciones con la palabra correcta. Va a usar my o mine. For example, is this Jennifer's hat? Este es el gorro de Jennifer. No. It's not hers. No, no es de ella. It's mine. 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 Es mío. All right. So you're going to do two all the way down to number four. You're going to do this activity. You're going to have five minutes to do this activity in pairs. I'm going to put you in pairs so you can do this activity together. Ready, let's go. Carla will work with Marvin and Patricia, Nelly and Sofia, and Juan Carlos with Liz.
action. You have 10 minutes. El donde estaban a cuatro puntos seis, ¿verdad? Okay. Punto seis. Nos quedamos en la segunda. La sí. segunda. Dice, are these close? Close. You. Close. Your, 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 your gloves. Your gloves. Uh -huh. you. La otra. No, eh, no they're not. My, my, my let us sell it. My, la segunda, la otra, la que sigue es maybe, maybe. there here, low, 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 no, her, her. China S. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hair. Hair. No, tres hairs. La otra es. Whose? A who. The shared artists are the Julian pets. Whose? Whose? Uh, la otra es no, they're not, they're t-shirt. T-shirt. Next. Uh, but but these are the tires. Uh -huh. Next. And these shorts are yours. Okay. Yes. Cheers. Next. Hey, these are not our clothes. Oh. La otra es, you're right, ours are over there. Complete. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Good students. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Quiero ver. No sé si la Carla ya terminó ya. Ya <risa> por ahí. El, um, ah, ya terminé. Pero... ¿Ah? Ya pasó de grado. Porque si ya, ya pasé al siguiente nivel. Ah, bueno. <risa> pero me costó. Sí, en serio. Eh, 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 de ahí las, ¿Ah? las últimas cuesta hallarle sentido. Sí. Ajá. O sea, ya terminó. No, yo no. Yo desde temprano estoy avanzando. <risa> y usted, me falta es... también. Me faltan también. Pero ya casi van a terminar. Sí, sí pero se podría decir que voy al día, <risa> ¿verdad? Palaba, pero no ah. para, bien tranquila. <risa> <risa> Ay, ¿qué 
Imagínense la actividad. <risa> Ay, ya no va a sacar el truco. Sí, ya casi. Ay, no. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, is everybody finished? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's check. Let me have one volunteer. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, Sophia, yeah. go ahead. Number two, Sophia. Number two, number one. No. Yeah, number, number one two. is mine. Ah, okay. Esa la hicimos juntos. Okay. Mm -hmm. are, are this uh, your gloves? Okay. Are these your gloves? Is that your or yours gloves? Your, your. gloves. Okay. Very good. Uh, number two, select somebody, Sofia. Uh, um, um, Marvin? Go ahead, oh. Marvin. Okay. No, they're not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. All right. No, they are not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. Select somebody. My. Go ahead. Select somebody. Okay. Ahorita. Lo veo. You can't see the people. Oh, okay. Liz, um, Trisha, Liz, Liz, okay, Liz. Lo puede poner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Please, teacher, artist. Uh, we are on number two B. Oh. <laughs> yes. Maybe their hair's gloves. Very good. Maybe they're her gloves. It's correct. Select somebody for number three. Nelly. Nelly, number three A. Okay. okay. Uh, who's this year are this? Mm -hmm. Are they really in fact? Very good. Thank you. Who's is correct? Go ahead. Select somebody. Carla. Go ahead, Carla. 3B. No, they're not. They're t-shirt. Very good. No, they're not. They're t-shirts. All right. 3B. But yeah. these socks, go ahead, select. Okay. Um, Alexander. Go ahead, Alex. In que section están, teacher? Voy entrando. Okay, we are on section number 4.6, knowledge check. Exercise number 3B. And these short are hey. punto. No, no, no. Three B, but these socks are. But these socks are theirs. Very good. Theirs is correct. Go ahead, select somebody. Um, Patricia ya participó. Okay, go ahead, Patricia. 3B. Uh, 3B, and these shorts are yours. Very good. And these shorts are yours. Uh, go ahead, select somebody. Four. Uh, no. Sofía. Okay, Sofía, 4A. A, there are not all 
uh, clothes. Very good. Hey, these are not our clothes. Our. Go ahead, select somebody for the next one. Um, Liz. Go ahead, Liz. Okay. You're right or are over there? You're right. Ours are over the there. Thank you. That is correct, everybody. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next section, which is 4.7. In this class, you will become familiar with the weather seasons. En esta clase, se familiarizarán con las estaciones del año. Weather and seasons around the world. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. Repeat, please. It's spring in Brazil. It's spring, spring in, Brazil. in Brazil. It's warm. It's, it's warm. warm. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's, it's very, very sunny. It's fall in the U.S. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's cloudy and windy. It's summer in Korea. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's hot and humid. It's winter in Russia. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's very cold. It's very cold. Very cold. Listen, please. Warm. It's very sunny. It's one. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. All right, so what we're going to do right at now... Home is I would like for us to practice the pronunciation of this conversation. Everybody listen and repeat. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. What's the matter? What's, What's the, matter? the matter? It's 
snowing. It it's is snowing. snowing. And it's very cold. And, and it's very cold. It's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing, Are you wearing, you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. No, no, no. they're they at home. home. Yeah. Well, you're wearing your coat. Well, well you're, you're wearing, your coat. wearing your, coat. your coat. But my coat isn't warm. But my, my coat is, is warm. And it's not where, and I am not wearing boots. And, and I am not wearing boots. Not boring. Okay, let's take a taxi. Okay, okay. let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. All right. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of this vocabulary? Alguien que tenga preguntas sobre el significado o alguna pronunciación de estas palabras? Nobody? No. Okay. Uh, wearing? Uh, wearing. Uh, vestiendo, wearing. O usando. Wearing. Ah, usando. Wearing. Wearing boots. Uh, que no lleva botas puestas, dice. Wearing boots. Yeah. Okay. We're going to work in pairs. I want you to practice this conversation at least 10 times. Practiquemos la conversación por lo menos 10 veces. Let's mm. go. el internet repetir diez veces la conversación ah, es very cool eh, eh. Pat o Julie Pat no lo tengo ahorita hi Rox hi oh. O estamos las tres. Pues cambiamos. Ok. Ok. Eh, comenzamos okay. ahorita. Ajá. Oh, no. Sí. ¿Cuál es tu mail? Ay, ¿cómo se dice eso? <risa> eh, ok. What, what you mean? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your clothes? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat? But my coat isn't worn and I'm not wearing but. Okay, let's let's take a taxi. Thank you, Lee. Okay. All right, I commence yo I continue to Oh no. What is you mail? It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No. They're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat? But my coat is warm and I'm not wearing coat. Okay, let's take a taxi. Oh, llegamos la visa verde. Okay. Voy a hacer entonces ahora Julie y yo. Yes, sí. comienza. Okay. 
Oh, no. What does the matter? It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you are wearing your coat? But my coat is the war and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's day a taxi. Thank you, Julie. Okay. Hoy ustedes dos porque yo lo practiqué más veces. Sí. Ah, ok. Voy a ser siempre yo, niño. Ah, ok. Oh, no. What is the matter? No te escucho, Alexander. It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat, it's warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's stay a taxi. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Hoy lo cambiamos. Mm -hmm. Oh no. What's the matter? It's now wind and it's very cold. Are you wearing gloves? No, they're at, at home. Will you're wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing but. Okay, let's stay at taxi. Thanks, Jelly. Okay, estamos con la práctica ahorita. Mm -hmm. No sé cómo van ustedes en general con la plataforma. Hey, yo voy a decir, <ríe> usted dice cómo estamos, por así decirlo, y día. Well, you are wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing both. Okay, let's take it that way. Thanks, you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Cuatro, dice. Cuatro. Cuatro punto ocho. Que no, no hay error. Cuatro punto ocho, Pati. Sí, correcto. Ahorita lo doctor. <risa> eh, de punto. Sí, with, with the hands on this. El diálogo. Ajá. 
Este. Este, vea. Está oyendo. El, el, el... Tweets 4.8, que es un... Está primavera, está caliente, está muy soleado. Es Eso lo vimos, pero hay un diálogo al final que es lo que tenemos que practicar la conversación. ¿No es este entonces? Eh, sí, 4.8 está. It's winter in Russia. Which illustrates how this topic is used. Conversación. Oh, no. Ah, pues la It's conversación que está al final del diálogo. Exacto, esa es. Oh, no, dice. What well, they matter. What did matter? What they matter? Let's take a taxi. It's, sí, it's, it's snowing, snowing it's and, snowing, it's, and it's, very and cold. it's very cool. This conversation How are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Vaya, usted, usted comienza y yo le sigo. Ok, yo soy Pat y usted es Julie. Ajá, espérame, espérame, que me está cargando. Oh, esta no. Cosa. Oh. Ah. Cuatro puntos. Hola, todos. En esta clase, vas a aprender los colores y vas a practicar esta conversación que ilustra cómo este tema es usado. Era la primavera, vea. Vamos a empezar con el siguiente. Se me había ido a otro lado. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar. Very sunny, yeah. hot and humid. It's winter. Yo tengo la computadora encendida, pero está bien lento el internet. Which illustrates Aquí. how this topic oh. is used. Oh, I'm imagining. Pa comience, por. Oh no. Oh, What no. the matter? What's the matter? It's What snowing, matter? snowing and it's What very cold. Uh -huh. Are you wearing your gloves? It's snowing and it's no, very cold. They're at home. Are well, you wearing, wearing your, your gloves? But my coat isn't warm and I'm not no, wearing a hat. No, they're at home. Okay. Let's take a taxi. Will you ask Julie? Will what I'm sure? Are you wearing your coat? Good coat. But my coat oh, is warm and I'm not really good. <laughs> Y mire, usted cómo detiene, usted porque ligero se me va a mí. Es que fíjese que yo lo tengo en, lo tengo en pausa. Ah, ¿Y cómo lo pone en pausa? Solo cuando esté en la conversación, dele clic en, la, ah. en medio para que se le detenga. Ah, va, ya estuvo. Va. ¿A, do, a dónde nos quedamos? En Boot, Boot My Cut, dijo usted, va. Ajá, correcto. But, but my, my coat, coat is warm wow. and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's try a taxi. Let, okay, let, let, así vea. Let's try a taxi. Let's try a taxi. Okay. Thank you, Julie. Thank Vamos you. Otra. Thank you. Oh no. Sí, yeah. Oh no. Comenzamos oh, otra vez. No. Sí. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, yo soy Patty, usted Julie. Okay. Oh no. What's this matter? It is snowing, snowing, and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No. They, they are. What? Warm, warm. ¿Cómo se, cómo se pronuncia? Warm. No, they are home. Home. Where uh, you, no, they where are you home. At mm -hmm. home. Were you wearing your coat? But my coat, it warm 
ang uh, ang yang ang ayang ang ayang not wearing put All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Now, yes. what we're going to do is you're going to write a similar conversation here. Van a escribir una conversación similar a esta aquí abajo en el discussion forum. Lo van a hacer en parejas, pero cada quien lo tiene que escribir en su plataforma individualmente. You will have okay. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Pueden cambiarle las prendas si quiere. Ready, let's go. 10 minutes. las prendas, ¿verdad? Sí. Sería tan... Qué triste. Pero me quiero escucharlo bien. Va. Hi everyone. In this class you Very, very, very. Cuando, cuando lo tenga me dice. Me queja y me costó. Solo las prendas dijo que podíamos cantar, ¿verdad? Yo ya no lo hice. ¿Ya lo hizo? No. Oh, no, dice. Ah, ya. Entonces, bueno, la voy a usar a usted. Sofía, la vamos a poner al principio. Sofía. Usted, si usted, usted ponga a mí, yo la voy a poner a usted como Pat y yo la pongo y usted me pone a mí como Julie. E íbamos haciendo las preguntas y todo. What is Guatemala? Ah, y luego usted va a decir. Uh, ah, pero lo tiene que escribir. Es no we dice, vea. ¿Cómo que dice? Es no we. No, and it's very. No, me. No, me. You're. 
globe, ahí que le vamos a poner. ¿Qué, ¿Qué está quiere decir globe? Estos... Globes. Eh... No sé. Globos. No serán globos. Dice esto no está. Guantes. Pero tú Guantes. eres. Estás usando tu corbata. Pero mi corbata es guan. Y estoy usando botas. Ok. Guantes. 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 Ah, globos. Ah, ok. Guantes. Dice, ¿dónde están? Tú estás usando guantes. Y Pat le responde, no, estos están en casa, creo que significa. Y tú estás usando una corba, una, cut, una corbata. Pe Pat le, le responde, pero mi cut, warm, warm, no sé qué significa. Y estoy usando y yo estoy usando botas. Ok, let's take un taxi. Ok, pedir un taxi creo que significa. Ajá, gracias, le dije después. Ajá, gracias, Julie. Ok. Bueno, vamos a intentar. ¿En cuál estábamos usted? En la 4.8. Me acaba de pasar la otra. Súper terrible. ¿Qué pasa? Y a mí me mandó a la... Vamos a ver, a ver. ¿Cuatro qué dijo? ¿Qué era? 4.8. Me cerró y me... Que yo no... Tres. Yo no... Ay, no, Dios mío, yo no tengo Inter. Todo loco está en mi cel. Ve, pues. Ay, no, qué terrible. Pues entonces aquí lo vamos a usar your, your qué, your globo, te vamos a poner entonces tu... What is my sweater? ¿Cómo es? Sweater, te vamos a poner tu, tu suéter. Ajá, ¿cuál es sweater? ¿Cuál es tu suéter? ¿O cómo es? Ajá, your, is... ajá. Are you wear, wearing your glo gloves? Dice ahí. Are you wearing ¿Ah? your sweater? Pienso yo. Es que, ¿waiter qué significa? ¿Ah? ¿Waiter qué significa? La primera, la primera estrofa de, de Julie. Ah, como, 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 ¿qué pasa? No sé. Este... No, porque le dice que es. Mara. ¿Qué es? Oh, sí, verdad. Uh -huh. Como que, ¿qué es? Waiter, no sé qué significa. Es que ese necesita suéter. Ese, ese, ese de suéter. Oh, no, dice, ¿qué sucede? Es, ¿qué sucede? Ah, Ajá, como que pasa, porque vuestra madre es eso, como que pasa. Uh -huh. Entonces, este... Y después este, le dice, eh, y, y, ¿qué dimos que era Snowing? Snowing, ¿cuál es? No. La segunda. Ay, y, sí, yo la Your snowboard, so, weather, weather. Yo le puse suéter. Está nevando y está muy frío, creo que es. O oh, está usando guantes, creo que es. Ajá, en la tercera sí está usando guantes, pero en el otro... Tenemos que hacer 50 cada día. En la semana son 250 clientes y supuestamente si lo hacemos... Ah, siempre lo mismo. Ajá. Yo ahí le puse es... que estaba haciendo... Que estaba, estaba soleado y que estaba haciendo mucho calor. Ah, it's... Ah, ya nos está sacando el tiche. Sí, ya pasó. Ya va a tener la clase. Cabal. Vale, pues. Cuídense, cualquier ya. cosa hablamos. Cuídense. Bueno, ya.
All right, all right, guys. Is everybody finished? Todos terminamos? No, teacher. No. Okay, no. si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Right all now, right. what right. we're going okay. to do is go on to the next activity, which is 4.9. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones usando el presente continuo. ¿Quién me puede decir en qué situación se usa el presente continuo? O para expresar qué. No. Si yo te pregunto. Eh, como que si yo estoy trabajando. Uh -huh. no? Correcto. Por ejemplo, si yo te pregunto a ti, ¿qué estás haciendo ahorita? I am. That's right. That's right. I, I am. <laughs> studying. I am. I am. I am. Studying English. Así ve. Ok, so el presente continuo se usa para preguntar o consultar cosas que están pasando en el momento del hablar. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb, uh, plus ing, plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence, plus the verb to be, plus the verb in its ing form, plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be are the verb plus ing wearing plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes we're wearing shoes they're wearing shoes when forming negative statements you will just add not after the verb to be let me give an example on the chart They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, 
it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and coworkers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. All right, so for this activity, what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to give me 10 examples. Me van a dar 10 oraciones acá en el discussion forum expresando lo que está haciendo usted y sus familiares. Eso les queda de tareas para mañana. All right, guys. Time's okay. up. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. Bye-bye.